Here we are going to simplify parentheses 4x to the fifth power raised to the 2 over 3 power. So we are going to change this into the radical notation first. Here we have 2 over 3. So we pay attention to the denominator, the 3. This 3 becomes the root, and this is going to be the cube root. Okay? So I will just put down the whole thing inside because here we have the parentheses. So this power was for everything. So let me put down the parentheses 4x to the fifth power and then raise that to the second power. Okay, so that would be the first step. Change the denominator of the power into the root. This is the cube root. Well, inside right here we have parentheses 4x to the fifth power to the second power. So what should we do with this two? Notice that the inside is multiplying 4 times x to the fifth power. Therefore, I can just easily take this two and then distribute it into this and that. And now let's see what we have. So we still have the big Q root on the outside. And then we just worked out 4 to the second power, that will be 16. And then we also worked out, well, x to the fifth power and square. We multiply the powers together. So we have x to the tenth power. Okay, x to the tenth power. Right, so this is how you make the change, but then this radical notation is actually can be simplified. It. Here we have the cube root, okay? So you have to think about what the perfect cube that we know. So let me just put it down on the side real quick. We know the cube root of 1 is equal to 1, but we never use 1 anyways. It's a good start. But we know the cube root of 8 is equal to 2. And then you see that we can break down the 16 with 8, right? So let me write this down as we know. I can write this down as the cube root of 8, right? Times the cube root of 2. Because 8 times 2 will give us 16, and the number 8 is a perfect cube, so we know this is going to be a 2 in a second. So, let's see. Let me put down this in red, and now this is just a regular 2 now, right? And then, this cube root of 2, this is just how it is. I'll just leave it as the cube root of 2. And you'll see I leave a space right here and here. The reason is because we still haven't simplified x to the 10th power yet. Well, to do that, x to the 10th power in the cube root, what we do is that we divide the exponents. So look at the 10, this exponent 10, and we divide this by this number, which is the 3. And then we just need to work it out. Make sure you work out long division though, because you have to look at the remainder. So let's see, 3 goes into 10 3 times, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, and then as usual, when we do long division, we subtract, and we have 10 minus 9, which is 2. And then we are going to read the answer from here. This means I will have x to the third power outside. So the x to the third power, now we can factor it out like this. And make sure you write the notation uh, expression like really clearly. This 3 is for the x, this u was for the root, okay? Anyways, and then we have this one, this is the remainder 1. That tells us we have one more x remains inside. So let me put down x to the first power. Okay? And that's pretty much the answer. But since this is just x to the first power, we don't need to bother to write it as the first power. We can just leave it like that. Therefore, I'll just box this. 2x to the third power times the cube root of 2x inside. That's it.